Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the selenate ion Lewis dot structure. So here we go. The selenate ion is Se selenium O4, four oxygens with a negative two charge. So that's going to give us six valence from the selenium plus four oxygens each with six valence electrons plus two more electrons from the negative two charge for a total of 32 valence electrons, okay? So we can go ahead and subtract out from the 32 the largest multiple of eight, which is also 32, giving us zero remaining electrons, and that is eight times four, meaning that, meaning that this is an AX4, four, one central atom surrounded by four uh, peripheral atoms, this, this four signifies. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this structure the uh, selenium will be in the center so selenium there four surrounding oxygens two three four and let's go ahead and um, single bond all the oxygens and then fill out the oxygens octets four six eight and four six eight okay so now we see every oxygen has eight octet uh, the, the eight electrons and so does the, the central selenium However, if you were to check the formal charges, you're going to have a plus two on the selenium right now, and you don't want to have anything that's that far from zero. So what we're going to end up doing is moving this pair of non-bonding electrons and forming a double bond here, and this pair of non-bonding electrons and forming a double bond here. And then don't forget to add in your brackets. This is a two minus because it's an ion, so you have to add in the, the brackets, okay? So let's go ahead and check the formal charge on this, this um, compound. So the formal charge on the uh, selenium in the center is going to be the six valence brought in minus one, two, three, four, five, six bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons. So that's a formal charge of zero. All right, the uh, formal charges of, let's say the oxygens with a single bond, so O sub one, so this oxygen here and this one here, that's six valence brought in minus one bond for each oxygen minus one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding for each oxygen for a minus one charge. And then you have to multiply that times two because there's two of those oxygens, okay? And now we have the formal charge of the oxygens with double bonds, O sub two. So this oxygen here and this one here. So the formal charges on those, it's going to be six for the uh, valence brought in minus one, two bonds for each oxygen minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons, so formal charge of zero. Multiply that times two, because there's two of them. If you sum that up, it's gonna give you a minus two overall formal charge, which is what we want, because that is the charge of this ion. It's supposed to match up, okay? So that's what, that's what we're looking for. Now, we just happened to pick these two oxygens. You could also have chosen these two, or any combination of two oxygens, to have the double bonds, not the single bonds. So that's going to lead to resonance structures, but I'm not going to draw them because that just wastes your time. But you could have different pairs of oxygens having the double bonds, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about the shape now. Uh, AX4, four surrounding atoms, no non-bonding pairs on the central atom, means a tetrahedral shape, okay? And uh, with a tetrahedral shape, the bond angle is going to be approximately 109.5 degrees. All right. Um, in terms of hybridization, one central atom surrounded by four bonding sites, four electron groups. That means sp3 hybrid. Is you have one s and three p's. So that's four orbitals for four different electron groups. All right. And uh, because these are all surrounding oxygens, all of their uh, dipole moments will cancel each other out, making this a non-polar compound. All right. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And thanks for watching.